The artillery loop. Hello everybody, welcome back. And today's little exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to do the artillery loop, but it's also called the man harness knot and a harness loop. And it basically, it's a knot that is tied in the bite of a rope. So in other words, if you want to put a loop in the middle of the rope, but you don't have access, say for example, to both ends of that rope, you can actually tie this one in the in the actual rope itself without having access to either end. Providing it's not under tension along the length of the rope, this one is easy enough to tie on a rope itself. So what I'm going to, hang on, let's, have, let's also have a look what the artillery, what's this, the, here it is, Ashley's Book of Knots. Okay, so today's little knot that I learned is the artillery loop, also called the man harness knot and harness loop, it's tied in the bite of a rope. It is used for a hand or shoulder hold in hauling field guns into position and also in assisting horses either in uphill work or when mired. Don't know what mired means. I will look that up. <laughs> okay, so basically, yeah, it puts a loop in a rope. And it also happens to mention that it was used for hauling field guns. Now... For those of you who've never seen the Royal Navy pulling field guns, I strongly recommend that you watch it because it is very entertaining. It's just full physical strength and they're carrying field guns over an obstacle course. And I will put a link in the description below and also in the comments so that you can go and have a look and see how the field gun crew used to run at the Royal Tournament. Anyway. Less of the cackle, John. Let's get on and let's get knotting. Right, so what I'll do is, in making, in, or making, creating this artillery knot, or tying the artillery knot, I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing it. And the first way is, I'll show you on the table so that you can actually see the structure of the knot itself. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pick up my rope in the middle here, and basically, with my left hand here, twist it, like so, so that I end up with that there. So basically, my cordage is going round over itself, round, underneath, and then off in that direction. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass it so that it goes underneath the right-hand cord, like so, and then just splits it in the middle. And then you can see here now, we've got a bit of a pretzel shape having appeared in here now. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to take the top loop and I want to pass it over this one here and underneath that one there. So that's what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pick it up, pass it over, then take it under the second one and then pull it through like so. And then just gently pull it up, all the ends nice and tight, just give it a good tug all round, that's it, and it'll lock in place. And then once it's locked in place, you can pull it in all directions and it shouldn't come undone. And I'm pulling that tight and that is really, really tight there. So just pull that up a little bit tighter. And the beautiful thing about this particular knot is, so there we go, I have now got a loop in here. I can pull that in either direction and that is not coming undone. But the good thing about this particular knot is that even if it's wet and under quite a bit of strain, it is relatively easy to undo. Because all I basically do is just go to the back of it and just gently prise apart the two shoulders there and it will just come undone fairly easy. It's not the easiest to undo, but it is fairly easy to undo. And so there we have it, that is now undone again. So let me show you that one more time. So basically, I pick it up in the middle there and I form a loop so that the left hand side goes over the right hand side there so just let's put that across there a bit and let's make a bigger loop this time and so there I have a larger loop I then take this end and I split that like so so there it there's my end going across there and I'm going to take the top loop now pass it over that cord there under the other half of the loop there and just gently pull it through and then just work my 
cords together like so and just pull it up nice and tight get it nice and tight we want it as tight as possible so it doesn't slip in any direction and there we go we now have ourselves one in number artillery loop and we can now pull our field guns to our heart's content up and down hill and if you go and watch that video I've suggested you would not want to pull a field gun up or down at a hill that's for sure but anyway that's what it was initially used for and it's also it but it is a great little knot to know because there's often a time when you want to put a loop into a rope and this is a great one to know because the, the simple reason is it's not too difficult to undo so just break the shoulders of it undo it and there it is it's come undone again so the artillery loops right so to do it in the hand fairly simple is just basically take your right hand twist it and form a loop like so so that it goes over round and then comes out underneath then the one that's coming out underneath just pass it over the top like so and let's just spread it out a bit because we want a bit more of a loop and then the next thing that I do is I take the top half of that loop pass it over that one there underneath that one there so take it over I'll just grab it with my fingers like so pass it underneath take hold of both cords and there we go we have now one artillery loop there and don't forget if you want to see the field gun crew in action where they're actually I don't I don't think they're the same exactly the same I think they've made theirs of leather when you actually look at it closely but this is the type of thing it was for and I'll put that in the description below for the field gun crew and also in one of the comments so have a look down there and you will see something similar being used to pull the field guns so let's just show you one more time so one more time I just take the right hand end and I bring it round forming a loop underneath the left hand end I then take the cord on the right hand side and pass it over the top and then what I'm going to do is just open it up a bit because I want a fair loop there and then take the top half of the loop bring it over the cord under the loop itself and then just pull it all up nice and tight and just make sure it's all tight before you go ahead and use it and then test it by pulling it in all directions to make sure that your artillery loop works and now you can pull your mule up a hill or you can charge along with the field gun crew as well so there we go that is the artillery loop and once again thanks for watching don't forget leave me a comment tell me why you hated it or liked it and please do share this video and I'll see you again next time for another little knot so let's get knotting see you later bye bye